Hey, I'm Clay Louder uh, with Colonial Family Practice. It's summertime here in South Carolina and we are seeing a lot of summertime injuries. One of the main ones that we see is a fish hook injury. And uh, I have an unusual way that I like to treat that uh, and I wanted to show it to you today. Now there are three ways to remove a fish hook. One way is to go to the doctor, get some local anesthetic put into it and get the hook removed that way. The second way is the pull through method where you take the hook and you actually push it through, cut off the barb with something heavy and then remove the fish hook. Both those to me are boring. The best way to take a fish hook out that I think is called the string jerk method. My um, I didn't learn this in medical school or in residency, but I learned it from my uncle Steve Louder, who's a professional fisherman. And so I'd like to show you today the way that I jerk a hook out. Now, first thing you need to understand is fish hook physiology. This is a Gamagatsu chemically sharpened fish hook. And right here you can see the barb on the hook. The barb is what catches the fish and holds him to your hook. Well, unfortunately, when that goes into human skin, the barb catches and won't come out. And to get it out, you have to release that barb. So the number one thing you need to remember about that is how to release the barb on this fish hook. Now what I have here is Mr. Pig, and he unfortunately stepped on a fish hook, probably out in the boat shed, and he's got it hooked into him, and we're going to try to jerk it out of him, and um, we didn't give him any anesthetic at all, or, uh, so he's going to try to tough it out. As you can see, he's got a big worm hook in him, and it's stuck past the barb and stuck pretty good. Now what I've done is I've taken some braided line, and I've doubled it up, and so I've made it into a strong connection, and I'm going to put that over the fish hook and I'm going to jerk it out. Now I'm not going to pull it and I'm not going to ease it out. And what I'm going to do, the most critical part is to use my left hand to put pressure on the hook to release the barb so that I can jerk it out. And it kind of goes like this here. So you take the line, wrap it around the hook. Hopefully the patient hasn't cut the hook too much so you can get to it. Then I push down firm with my left thumb I usually like to count to three and jerk on two so the patient doesn't know I'm getting ready to do it because they'll be tense. Sometimes you have to give them local anesthesia like with a Coors Light or something. If they, if they do that, it usually calms them down. But the first thing I do is just count to three. One, two, boom. Fish hook pops out. You have a happy patient and he is uh, good to go for the next round of fishing. So that's been Clay Louder with uh, my fish hook removal. Hope you have a great summer.